or Barnes & Noble DVD locations. Hey everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz, welcome to TCM. Director Alfred Hitchcock is synonymous for his suspenseful thrillers, his tense, often terrifying films that kept moviegoers uncomfortable and guessing right until the end. Or in the case of movies like Psycho, so uncomfortable they scream in the middle of the movie. Up next today, we've got a different kind of Hitchcock thriller, though still one with a tense and gripping story. But in this case, Hitchcock sets aside his signature stylistic flashes for a far more straightforward, almost documentary style narrative. Hitchcock felt he didn't need to use movie making tricks to scare us here because the story itself would make the audience uneasy enough. From 1956, it's The Wrong Man. The script is based on a true story about a man named Manny Balistrero. Henry Fonda plays Manny, a struggling musician, a family man. One day he's running an errand to help his wife when he's picked up by the police. The charge? murder and it turns out they've got witnesses who'll swear he did it that idea being accused of a terrible crime you didn't commit with no clear way to prove your innocence was scary enough for hitchcock to tell this story in an entirely new way for him it was a particularly stressful story for hitchcock himself who possessed a deep fear of the police and of jails a fear that dated all the way back to his childhood when, to teach him a lesson, his father had him locked in a jail cell. The punishment lasted only a few minutes, but the scars that brief incarceration left lasted a lifetime. And as soon as Hitchcock read the story of the real life Manny Balistrero, he knew he wanted to tell the story on film so everyone could feel the fear he'd carried with him all his life. From 1956, also starring Vera Miles. Here's Alfred Hitchcock's The Wrong Man. 